Ask yourself this question. What does it mean to be strong? Does it mean being able to pull a monster truck or lifting a car off of the ground or throwing around gigantic rocks? They're falling in at this four and a half foot net. Those are big rocks. They're pretty big. <laughs> What's yeah. the most weight you've ever picked up? So I've deadlifted 971 pounds. 971 pounds. That's roughly the same as picking up five grown adults or four full-sized refrigerators or an entire grand piano. For Rob Kearney, being strong is often measured in Herculean feats like these. It makes sense. He's one of the strongest people in the world. Now, before I go on, a primer for anyone like me who has no idea what's going on here. This is the world's strongest man competition. It takes place every year. For more than four decades, these giants come from all over the world to settle an age-old question. Who is the biggest and strongest of them all? And Raw is one of the fiercest competitors. When you were growing up, watching sports, weightlifting, what was strength to you? I wasn't a terribly athletic kid growing up. Honestly, it was in the weight room where like, I really found myself. Before long, Rob had turned pro, duking it out with the world's mightiest. But beyond the muscles and the mohawk, there existed a part of his life that none of his competitors knew. I always knew I was different, but I never accepted as to why. It was always just pushed into the back of my mind and I never wanted to deal with it. It wasn't until college where I actually dated a girl for about a year and a half. And that was really my only relationship throughout my entire life up until that point. But one day I woke up and I kind of had this epiphany and I was like, I can't do this anymore. Here I am thinking I'm living this heteronormative life and gonna have that white picket fence life with a wife and kids. and. I'm finally realizing that's not what I want and that's not what's gonna make me happy. And you're doing it in this hyper-masculine sport, right? Yeah. Where you don't know if you reveal who you are, what's gonna happen. Yeah, once I realized it for myself and I could confidently look in the mirror and say, I'm a gay man and be proud of that, I kind of had this mentality that I realized if people didn't like it about me, I didn't need them to accept it. I was finally accepting myself. And that was opening up these doors that I never knew existed. Opening new doors, more like kicking them in. Rob soon took the strongman world by storm, even dubbing himself the world's strongest gay, the first openly gay professional strongman in the sports history. But even Rob's mighty strength was no match for Cupid's arrow. Not long after I had ended that relationship with, with the girl, um, I actually met Joey. I look back and it was honestly like a middle school romance to start. So what was, what was going through your mind? Like, did you realize that he was a pro strongman at the time? And Like he was talking about, it, I'm like, I don't really know what this is. Like, <laughs> I didn't even watch Wild Trials Man on TV. Like, that's how gay I was. I was like, oh yeah, that sounds cool. Like you lift weights. And then like, I started talking to him more about it. He was showing me videos and I'm like, oh, like, you do this kind of stuff. Like, you lift, like, giant boulders and, like, deadlift cars. I'm like, one, that's pretty cool. And, like, two, like, I want to do that. Together, Rob and Joey have become arguably the world's strongest couple. They've written a book and, to their surprise, were fully embraced by their strongman community. And today, they're giving me a lesson. How to become a strongman 101. So this is honestly kind of like a strongman playground. Yeah. <laughs> playground is a kind way to put it. Still, I wanted to try my hands at the world's strongest man's most notorious event, those famed Atlas stones. So we have ones that are plenty light enough where first time you could throw them around no problem. OK. All right. Perfect. Is this my stone? Yeah. All right. And I'll bring mine up as well. I'll go over <laughs> Just a little bit different. Just a little different there. <laughs> From here, you hold on to it, and then you're just going to look up at the platform, squeeze it into your body, stand up and get it up on the platform. OK. See, you make it look easy. 
<clears throat> so good. Foot placement's good. Get your fingers underneath it. Underneath it. You'll squeeze it. Bring it up into your lap. You're gonna sit down. Reach around the stone. Good. And then lift it up onto the platform. Woo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as graceful as yours. You're ready to do strong guys. Yeah, I'm ready. We'll I'm ready. Okay, sure. I may not be leaving behind my news career to lift rocks for a living yeah, just go. yet. But for Rob and Joey, all of this is part of a greater goal. Each press, each pull, each lift, an important step in changing the narrative around what it means to be a gay man. I think all too often, gay men are seen as weak, mm. and they're typically portrayed as you know, feminine, flamboyant, and that's really it. Gay doesn't have to look a certain way. Mm. Here I am as a, a gay man with a mohawk and these muscles and competing at the highest level of this hyper-masculine sport of strongman. It's been a really great, great way to be able to show people that sexuality really has no bearing on things you can achieve. So what does it mean to be strong? Maybe being strong isn't measured in pounds of iron and steel but rather in being true to yourself and inspiring others to be true to themselves along the way. I think, honestly, it's about writing your own narrative and realizing that true strength isn't just physical. It comes in so many different ways. I am a strong man and I'm gay and I can do both of these things. So that's really been the most important thing for us is to be able to show everybody that regardless of these parameters in this box, these boxes that people put you in, you can kick down those walls and do whatever you want. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.